Hello and welcome to JDTV News. I'm Brett. And I'm Liam. And today we have stories on the new school lunches, the Juno water shortage, and the HSGQE repeal. We also have stories on the Treadwell Mine, Close Up, and then we have Sports with Jade. All that and more on JDTV News. Did you enjoy doing the high school qualifying exam this year? Because apparently it's the last year that students will do it. Will went to find out more. In the last 10 years, students have not been able to graduate high school without passing the state's HSGQE, but that will all be changing soon. A bill has passed through the House and has been signed into law by Governor Sean Parnell that effectively eliminates the high school qualifying exam. The HSGQE is a high school exit exam first taken during sophomore year. It can be retaken throughout a student's career if they do not pass. It measures a student's proficiency in reading, writing, and math. This year, however, a bill has been passed that no longer requires the state to administer the test. House Bill 220 passed the House on March 25th with a vote of 32 to 5. Governor Sean Parnell supports the bill, calling the exam obsolete, and signed it into law on Tuesday in Wasilla. is law. Another reason people supported the legislation is it will allow graduates who were not able to pass the test to come back and collect their diploma if they have the required amount of credit. You've met the standard of the state, why not just get your high school diploma? It, just, just ask for it and get it. Because this is such a new development, high school administration and counseling declined to make a statement, but in an email, Elizabeth Davis, assessment administrator, stated that students who failed to receive their diplomas due to the failure of the HSGQE could apply to collect their diplomas over the course of the next school year. The bill does not address the creation of a replacement exam, but the president of the Juno School Board stated that the board is collecting information to create new standards for a new test. While this year's sophomores still had to take the, the test this spring, the act will go into effect September 1st, 2014, and the exam will no longer be offered for next year's freshmen and beyond. Thanks, Will. You may have been wondering why the water pressure has been lower than normal recently. Thanks to a CBJ information release, our crew found out more. Around the school, you may have experienced the difficulty of drinking out of the water fountains. Recently, it may have become harder due to the Juno water shortage. The shortage of water is due to the warmer weather that results in an increase of water usage, and also because of Salmon Creek being offline because of the turbidity in the water made by springtime hillside runoffs. With the result of this, Juno's primary water source at last chance basin is 30% the normal capacity. CBJ public workers asked the residents in Juneau to help conserve water. One way you can do this is by turning off water after using it. Well, for all of you Juno residents that hate the rain, think about this. Would you rather have it sunny all day, but then be unable to take showers or do other work with water? Remember to conserve as much as possible. Last month, a group of students were in Washington, D.C. and New York for 11 days with the Close-Up program. Here's Magna with that story. Close-Up is a government program which allows you to travel all the way to Washington, D.C. to meet senators and to learn about how our government works. That's been going on at Juno Douglas High School since um, 1979. We were one of the first um, schools involved in it. We were number 19 out of um, thousands now. We take from 12 to 24 students. Any student can go as long as they, um, their grades are C or better. And uh, they, um, we do fundraising. Um, some just pay, some fundraise. In Washington, D.C., the group visits government and historical related locations. We go back and we meet um, with our senators and our representatives. We go see the White House, um, the Capitol building, but Close Up is also a program that each week they pick a different topic. This year on our trip we're doing federal courts. So we're going to be going to the federal courthouse and looking at some of the cases that they're looking at right now. Close Up also takes students to New York to see tourist destinations and professional sports games. We go to the United Nations, um, Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island. Of course the Battery, we go down and see the stock market. We do the World Trade Center, a Broadway play. Most students come back and said it's one of the best things they did in high school. If that sounds at all interesting to you, be sure to talk to Ms. Galuzzo about next year's trip. 
You may have heard that the Juno School District is hiring a new food service company for the new school year. This food vendor is looking for feedback from students about what they would like for breakfast and lunch. You can give them your input online at www.surveymonkey.com slash s slash Juno Food Secondary Students. Make sure to fill that out if you are interested. And do you want to know more about the history of Treadwell Mine? Treadwell Mine? No? Well, too bad! You are anyways. Kyle went to there to tell you more about his history. Hello. I'm standing here in the ruins of Treadwell Mine. This gold mine is one of the major reasons the city of Juneau even exists. Gold was first discovered here in 1880 by Joe Juneau and Richard Harris. This discovery led to a flood of prospectors, including a man by the name of John Treadwell. Name sound familiar? Treadwell built up the mine, digging many tunnels beneath the channel, as well as digging out a large pit called a glory hole, which is now filled with water. Then, in 1917, disaster struck. Water started leaking into the mine and then destroyed the entire thing. The only casualties were 12 horses and one mule. Today, the ruins are owned by AELNP and are a popular tourist attraction, as well as an important historic site. Looking to the future, there have been a city discussions about reopening both the Treadwell and the AJ mines. However, nothing is official yet. Thanks for that, Kyle. Now on to Jade with some sorts. Jade? Thanks, Liam. Moving on, last week I had met with Ms. Gagnon, the track coach. According to Ms. Gagnon, all in all the track meet last week had gone pretty well. The track team had encountered a few learning experiences. There had been a few mishaps. Their points total was not significantly high and there had been a few batons that had been dropped, something they will surely work at. They had about a dozen personal records, which is definitely something to celebrate. Ms. Gagnon is looking forward to taking about 13 athletes to state meet this year, and I'm positive that the whole team will work hard to be one out of the 13 people. Ms. Gagnon tells us about crossing unions and being a true citizen in the Southeast community. As a Southeast track coach, we work together with other Southeast teams. So when I'm at the long jump pit during a meet, I'll help kids from Gustavus, kids from Sitka. I don't just help the GDHS kids because it's really a Southeast team feel. And that's one thing that I really appreciate about coaching here in Southeast. Also, the regional championships for track are, I believe, this weekend. Well, let's go on to calendar to find out more. Take it away, Liam. Thanks, Jade. Now to the events of next week. Today, baseball, soccer, and softball will all be going to Ketchikan, and the track and field regional championships will be hosted here in Juneau. Senior awards will also take place today. On Saturday, May 17th, it will be the last Super Saturday of the year. On Tuesday, May 20th, the high school baccalaureate ceremony will be at the TMHS Auditorium at 5 p.m. Wednesday, May 21st, it will be the last day for students to use the library. After this date, no other books can be checked out. And finally, on Thursday, May 22nd, the JDHS baseball team will be playing at the Adair Kennedy Field. Sadly, that is all we have time for today at JDTV News. But if you want to see past shows, go to www.jdhsvideo.org. And you can follow us on Twitter at JDHS Video. Be sure to tune in for next week's show. It'll be the last one with hosts Calvin and Will. Have a good weekend.